Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Vidi here back on the Madden 16. Today I'm bringing you guys a pack opening because you got Jay Rice in packs, you got JJ Watt in packs, you got other shit in packs, packs. Because you guys love when I open up packs for some goddamn reason. Um, also we got Gronk is announced as the cover athlete. They released some shitty little trailer thing that really isn't even a trailer. It just probably pissed off a lot of you guys. Because uh, it kind of pissed off me was just Gronk breaking off nine tackles. And I'm like, yay, next year. Woo, let's go. Um, so we're just going to start off with this loyalty pack. They also brought the loyalty program back. Last year, the loyalty program was a little weak. You got just like a bunch of random, stupid silver players pretty much from all of them. But this, I'm going to do it again because I'm a dick and I'm a sucker for sucker for punishment. So here we go. We got this little thing, loyalty badge. And I think you need to add 10 of them. You get them from like everything, basically. You add 10 of them to get a badge, and then you can carry like 10 of them over as we get the Lane Johnson of our loyalty pack. And you can carry 10 of them over, and then you could use the 10 in Madden 17 towards, like, packs and other shit. And they, like, hype it out to be a lot better than it really is. Uh, this year, um, really got nothing. I got, like, a, like, a, actually, I could show you guys exactly what I got for everything that I completed. I'll do that before I do the pack opening. Um, this year, to start off the year, I, I guess the best thing I got was Jared Allen, and that cost a lot of money to do last year. You you put you get to, get, 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 to get the 85 Jared Allen this year you had to put like Ronnie Lott RG3 all of those uh, Fourth of July cards into a set to get Jared Allen of this year and Jared Allen's stats were barely good in the beginning of the year 79 speed is atrocious the only thing that was really good was 92 speed or 92 excel some people used him for B gaps but he was pretty much completely useless um, also got um, who else was it. I can't. Richard Sherman. I got 87 Richard Sherman for completing Mutt Master. And then I got Earl Thomas. I don't remember what overall Earl Thomas was. But he's in here somewhere. Was he in 85? Yeah, 85 overall Earl Thomas to start off the year. So that's what I got. It's the three players. And then like a bunch of like weird silver players are probably already quick sold by now because they just weren't that good really. They didn't really do anything at all. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this pack opening. We got 12 Ultimate Legend packs and then the two toppers. So let's just start off by opening up some of these Ultimate Legend packs. I don't think I've bought any of these this, any of these this year because they don't really look that appealing. Because I figured it was just going to be a whole bunch of Ultimate Legend badges. And I know that those aren't going for Duke. But I figured maybe, because I am trying to rebuild the team a little bit. Trying to build the team a little bit different as we get nothing from this pack at all. Um, but I am trying to build the team a little bit differently now that I got rid of the old all time Eagle squad. So I am going to need a little bit more coins than I have right now. I've already bought some players. We get another badge that's kind of shitty. Just a whole bunch of golds. These packs are looking pretty dry so far. But since I am, like I said, I'm rebuilding my team. I bought a few players here and there, and I'm trying to sell a few all-time Eagles players, and it's just not working out in my advantage. So here we are with this Ultimate Legend Packs. We're going to get an 81 overall Rod Woodson. I'm not too sure what any of these guys are going Oh, the Speed Edition of Rod Woodson. Um, I'm not too sure what any of these Ultimate Legends are going for. I haven't really been keeping up with that because I was building the all-time Eagles team at the time. But I might actually do Rod Woodson set depending on what I pull from these packs. Because I do need cornerbacks to get a Brandon Sheriff. Sheriff. Uh, he's actually pretty good. I might actually keep him because I think my current right guard is a... 90 overall i believe it's brandon brooks and yeah it is so he's probably actually going to stay on the team for now um let's go ahead and open up the next ultimate legends pack i'm probably gonna open up a topper after this one it's just to sweeten the deals we got a 96 janoris jenkins not too sure what he's going for probably around 100k i'd hope so maybe at a 96 overall cornerback uh, I, I mean, 97 man is looking pretty good. 95 zone's all right. He's only 5'10". He only has 85 press. He, all around, he's not really that bad, but for 5'10", I definitely would not use him. Got Vincent Jackson, and we get uh, Dimitri Dawson. He's probably not going for anything at all. Is it the rookie edition? It's the rookie edition. Strength edition. Okay, so he might actually stay. He might actually be going for 26 cap. He might actually be going for something because people are probably using him in... um salary cap mode since he only takes a 26 cap hit but i don't even use i barely even have an offensive line in my salary cap teams we've got an 81 overall ladini this is the speed edition i already have him yeah i got the speed edition i would suggest using him on your cap team too he takes a 58 cap hit he also has really good receiving stats um so i use him in my cap team we get a 93 overall akeem airs i don't know what's going on with him does he get any speed or anything uh 90 speed actually isn't really, nah, i don't know if, i don't really like that that card's kind of duke i'll probably just sell him what else we got going on here? We got a Josh Norman. Nothing really. Base Elite Mario Williams. Fire, fire. Ultimate Legend badge. And that's it for that pack. Let's go ahead and open up one of the toppers. 
Um, which one of these is which topper? Yellow. We'll just open up this one. I don't even know what any of the toppers give you, so. We're going to get a Sean Taylor Team Redskins. I'm sure that's not going for anything. We get an Eric Dickerson. I already did his set, so this is really nothing to me. Uh, it's the Strength Edition. Ultimate Legend Badge. And, ooh, J.J. Watt piece. He might be going for something. I might actually end up doing a set. I don't know. It's his rookie, it's his rookie edition card. Um, that's probably a pretty decent pull. Probably not. I don't know. Lord knows, really. Uh, we got five more packs, and we're going to open up the last top. Hopefully, we can actually pull something really nice here. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, I didn't pull anything really good. We got a basically Junior Galette. I probably did pull something really good, and I didn't even know. And you guys are going to be like, oh, you, you idiot, you idiot, you pulled blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be like, yeah, well, you know what, blah, 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 stupid. Got four packs left, and the topper. Um, I really don't know. So we get a Leonard Floyd. I guess he's a draft card. I don't know. I want to get that draft card uh, something Davis. Uh, the middle linebacker, he's got like a crazy good speed. As we get a David Harris final edition card, he probably isn't going for anything either. The final edition cards were really underwhelming this year besides, um, uh, what's his name? Oh my god, was it Mike Evans? Mike Evans really is the only person with a really good final edition card. And I guess the very first one in you know, Demarius Thomas was pretty good. Also, an Anthony Barr, Richie Incognito, and just, a, wow, that was a pretty, pretty bare pack. That was... They, you know, that was pretty much the, uh, pretty much sums up these packs. Not really much going on. I don't even think golden tickets are, there's a golden ticket in packs right now. But I just wanted a chance to pull it. Was we had a Rob Gronkowski collectible? That's actually pretty good too. I, I don't know. I pulled. No, I'm probably gonna do one person set out of the collectibles that I pulled. Obviously, besides Dickerson, I might do LT set. Don't really know, but I'm probably gonna do someone set that I pull. That's what I usually do when I pull packs like this. We get a Max Unger and a Legend badge. I got a few of those, so I'll probably do as many Ultimate Legend sets as uh, that I could do with as as many Ultimate Legends as I could do for the badges that I have, because I don't want to buy any of those badges. So lastly, we got this last topper. I don't even know how many are in it or anything. This is two, so this is a small one. We get the John Randall Vikings. That's probably like the worst thing you could possibly pull. And we got Jason Taylor, Dolphins, so the two worst things you could probably possibly pull. And this pack opening really probably wasn't that good, but, you know, maybe it was. I really have no clue what's all going on with all those Ultimate Legend players. But if you guys like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be on the description below, as always.